difficult about the last game. There was all of the end of season stuff, family commitments, what happens if you do win it and the celebration. So we tried to address all of that early on so it would be a really clean line to to the match. And, and even when, it was a great atmosphere, wasn't it? And even when we came to the game, you know, the gaffer spoke passionately and obviously won, won the championship himself. And um, But once we took that kind of emotional side, we really just got to the real basics. I was actually working in the morning, would you believe, uh, in the games, I was working till 12 o'clock. Uh, so, don't get me wrong, it just went through your head the whole week. Uh, that team was almost picking itself by then, uh, they were playing that well. So that side of it was easy. Uh, it was just a case of, right, how do we address it? What do we do? What do we, what do we say? Uh, and then the, the game comes. I thought we did okay without being great um, in that first half. And then, of course, we lost that goal. And Flynn maybe just edges to one side to try and save it, and the guy reverses it. And um, that's probably the proudest moment I've had of the gaffer and, and the coaching staff and the players because we had just lost uh, that goal and it was an important goal, but we were really calm at half time. I thought we were, we were in command of the game without being brilliant first half, and then we got done with a free kick right at half time. Uh, but yeah, we just stayed calm, just told the players to do what they're good at. Uh, and I thought second half they were outstanding. We probably should have won the game and, and then we just drew the game, but it was, it was enough. And then you were comfortable because Peterhead were getting beat or drawn at the time. And then they scored again, <laughs> and you're going, oh, here we go, the, the last five, ten minutes. Uh, but uh, fair play with it. I don't think there were any chances at the other end, which was which was good for us. The, the final was a goes and you're, you're kind of still in a wee bit, I guess you're in a bit of a daze. Stunned it, as such because you've, you've won the championship and fortunately enough I've done it a couple of times, so it's uh, very privileged in that, in that sense because you know, we're saying that to guys before the game, to get your hand on one of these medals, there's not many people have that. Uh, so for the boys to get that, uh, and then you kind of take a back seat and let the, the guys take over, the player, I think, which was, which was quite right. I think back, I was a bit, I was a bit lost actually because there was loads of commotion and and I, I, this might have been Matty Sickens, but it felt like ages. I didn't know where to look and and who to cuddle or or what to do. I don't get me wrong, the elation was exceptionally high, but you kind of do you respect? Do you shake Gav Price's hand yeah. and Gibby? Do you go and try and grab the manager? You look for your family. The players are all so. Uh, when the final whistle went, there was, yeah, I was a bit lost actually for those. Felt like minutes, but maybe it was seconds. And then we come into office and you have a couple of beers and then you kind of settle down and you're back out for the when they're on the, the podium, which was which was brilliant for all concerned guys that have been here for now ten years. Players delighted to see all that and uh, yeah, uh, and then it eventually sinks in. The after that is one of the best nights I've ever had, and I mean the whole town must have been celebrating. Uh, I can't comment too much on this. We had our own celebration the week after in Benidorm and that'll stay in, in Benidorm or the boys that are there but for the town and the celebration that night, uh, it, was, it was definitely one of the best nights I've ever had. We should be at the sports like a dinner on the, yeah, the, went the Sunday or down Sunday so uh, it was a heavy weekend. Uh, I remember coming out the chairman's at some stage of the, the proceedings on Sunday morning and it ended up being a, a fabulous night and a fabulous day just, not just for us. As I say, we were only passing through the club for a, for a few years. It meant more for me, for the board and the, and the supporters that will be here and be here long after after we leave. So it's great to give something back to the The championship was special and, and hopefully we can have something similar to that, whether it's a championship or a playoff win in, in the not-too-distant future. Over the moon for the town. Great for the boys. I'll go down and folklore with the, with the football club, come back here and you see how ex-players are treated. Uh, these guys are going to come back as, as champions, so uh, they'll always be welcome back. They'll be a, the picture will be forever up on the wall, which is great, and, and we've been part of it, part of the club's history. So uh, hopefully, it's in the last one. Champions! Champions!